Hi everybody, a uh, bit of a somber occasion here. A tr terrible family tragedy has happened. I, I have lost my only uncle. I have some, some great uncles and actually a couple of still living, two great uncles, but uh, my only first generation uncle, um, he took a heart attack and died suddenly at 63. Um, I wish I had seen him a little more and uh, it's still kind of really in shock and it's just it's so terrible and I wanted to mention a few people specifically that I would like this to go out to um, uh, you know his wife Trish and his children Ryan Amy and Derek and Ben and John and Maria and his mother my grandmother Winnie and, and Linda and, and Tonto um, and, and and his best friend uh, Wayne and it was like a brother to him. I think he said over 48 years it was. And uh, it's really strange. Wayne had like friended me up just a couple of days before this happened so unexpectedly. We're all kind of rocked and it's just, it's been really hard. Um, so, you know, me doing poems and stuff like that, I wanted to do a little tribute. So I hope, and obviously this is just, you know, my, my perspective on this. So I didn't, I didn't capture every once, but I, I hope that I captured the spirit of Larry reasonably and, 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 and give him a decent amount of tribute. I hope I did a good job here for you, Larry. Um, let's see. I want to tell everybody about the great, the great Larry Rodriguez. Gone in a flash you will never be forgotten. Your spirit lives gigantic in all our hearts. Your courage was matched only by your kindness. You mourn heavy, even though you wouldn't want it that way. What a footprint you left. I have big feet, but I'll never fill your shoes. A week ago, I lost my only uncle, a man who loved so much his heart shorted out before we had a chance to say goodbye. His sudden departure has given me such a shock that I can't fully fathom he is gone. The feelings of a nephew pale in comparison to those of a wife or a mother or a sibling or a child. I wish I could shake us awake. Larry will be back here where he belongs. His family was his world. Every word Every action, every thought was for them. It is no surprise that Maria became such an athlete. I'm only surprised the rest of my cousins didn't become NHL superstars with all his encouragement. Then again, Ryan does love cars more than he loves sunshine. I'd be remiss not to mention the legendary Larry Mustache. His swarthy stash put Hulk Hogan to shame. In Mustache, I completely trust him. Would have been happy to see it rise to power and fame and rule the world of 80s cool. I'll miss his steady demeanor, the laid back hilarity that made everyone want to be in his company. He was the kind of father I wish I had. My heart goes out to all who loved him. For now, I'll do my best to hold on to all the good times, the family celebrations and barbecues and my cousin's hockey games. I'm honored he got to see me tell jokes for real and imbibe with me as an adult. We had good times for almost 38 years. And I had hoped for 30 more. I bet you and Spropolis are up there cruising in heavenly cars. Give him a yaki da and a crap out from me. It's my pleasure to know you. I hope I see you again someday. I know he was quite a heavy drummer. I wonder if he could do a little uh, gentle sort of beatnik little trill and uh, get a get a rhythm on that beat. I hope I hope he likes it. I hope you all like it. Um, hopefully, I will uh, have happier news to share someday soon. Okay. Bye, everybody.